And I must say, uh, Honorable Ichungwa is a very smart brain professionally. Very smart. I've worked with him for about three years, and he has a very good appreciation of finance and accounting. And on the basis of that, most of the things he will be saying, they should be facts, because uh, even his background supports that. But unlike him, I've been in this committee since 2013. So I've actually been nine years in this committee, the budget committee of parliament. And uh, this debate about public debt has been coming up every now and then. I want to just take you back to the, uh, to the history. 2013, if you remember, our debt was about 1.8. Mm -hmm. And there was very hot debate in the chamber when we were being requested by the government, the executive, to push it to 2.4 as a ceiling. It was 2.4 then. But then we had a very hot debate, and as a result of that, then we, we said, let's go, let's use the international best practice in terms of measuring public debt. And that's, that's the time we went to percentage of the GDP, other than uh, fixed, fixed uh, figures like 9 trillion or 2.4. Uh, but what I want to remind Kenyans is that borrowing is not bad, even at personal level, for you to develop, you borrow. What matters is how do you spend that money, and how do you manage the repayment of the loan? And uh, most of the time, because there are, there, are, there are international standards in terms of how you measure public debt, there are those ratios you would consider, which are used across the board to measure public debt. Over time, we've been monitoring them, and uh, at times we go above what is expected, at times we are below, for some of the indicators. So when you ask Honorable Kimani, you know what happened is, and I think this is where the problem is, more so in the 12th Parliament. You know, in the 12th Parliament, unlike the 11th Parliament, uh, most of the chairing of the committees uh, suffered what we call state capture. So Kiman, although he's very qualified, <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't become the chair because his, his qualifications merited that. He became the chair because of loyalty to the party. And when that loyalty disappeared, <laughs> it also disappeared <laughs> from the committee. <laughs> so. What I'm saying in short is, public debt has been an issue, Wainga, and we must, as Kenyans, discuss this matter candidly without any, any uh, fear of contradiction.